Hi, in this video I'm going to explain the purpose of the design cache in ORCAD Capture. At first I thought this was just something extra and it was just annoying and really served no purpose and I'd run into errors sometimes and it just didn't make any sense to have a design cache. Until I realized something. When I would get designs from other engineers or old designs, Almost always, they never had the parts library for my schematic. So, if I wanted to change or update anything, I'd need to make a new library from scratch, like this, right? And then it would be in this project, yeah, that I'd make my library. And when I make it from scratch, I have to just make new parts just from scratch. And then one day, I selected one of the parts, right click and copied it. And I was like, wow, if I can copy this, that means I can paste it. So I tried this, right click, paste, and voila. With this method, I could, it, it didn't really matter if the engineer included the OLB file for the schematic symbols or not. So I discovered the design cache is actually a lifesaver because no matter what schematic design I get in ORCAD Capture, I can do a shift, click select, right? Even the part symbols, even the symbols here. Uh, let's see. Well, if I, let's not include the net group definition folder, but if I do this, I could right click copy all of these and paste them into the library that I just created. Right click copy, paste. And from here, I can edit the part in my new library and put any information I want inside these parts. So that is the benefit of the design cache. And another benefit is this. If I'm in my design, right, in my schematic, and let's say I were to make a copy of this part and paste it, and then I would edit this part, I can right click and edit this part in or get capture and then give it some new property like um, for instance you know something like uh, tolerance well no not tolerance something like something like an yeah like a new MFR number or something and say one two three four I could check mark and then it becomes a new part called underscore zero. Close that and I could update current because we always make these changes as engineers on the fly changes. What happens is that uh, the design cache keeps a record of not only the original copy but its new version here. It keeps the original version like this and then the new version, the underscore zero. So if I wanted to say you know change my mind and go back to this original version in the design i could just copy this and put that in my library or if i just wanted to use the new version i could copy that and put it in my library see so the design cache really is a lifesaver especially if your uh, library gets lost it keeps track of everything now just to clarify just to explain the design cache library of parts only match with what's on the schematic okay and the parts that are in the actual library they are different from the parts that are in the schematic and in the design cache any changes you make to parts in the schematic which are tracked in a design cache they do not reflect they are not reflected in the actual library these are different objects all together all by themselves that means if I go to place part and I have this library here, which automatically shows up, this library one is the same as this. And I pick up, say, this IR2110, right click and mode. This IR2110 is different from this IR2110. This IR2110 is the same as this. Okay. But notice here. The design cache made a new copy of this IR2110. This 
is the same as what came out the library and is and the design cache has now made a new copy uh that this matches this that came from the library yes uh, and this one that was already here is different it's its own thing it came from some old library from the previous design or something like that this and this are not the same okay so uh, the benefit is design cache keeps track of everything you put on the schematic so you can always and you can always copy and paste them back into some new library uh, and really the drawback there's really no drawbacks I would say if you know how to use the design cache properly and to your advantage as long as you understand that parts from the library are separate from parts that are in the design cache and the schematic um, then you'll be fine this is the use of the design cache it really after I figured out what it actually does it blew my mind uh, some years ago and I just stopped hating it and started loving it ever since okay so that's the design cache and ORCID capture and why it can and how it can benefit you or right, copy the parts from the design cache and put it into your library all right thank you for watching hope that helps uh, see you next time peace